There is a little phrase in the Queen's speech which says, legislation will also be introduced to ban conversion therapy. Now, I expect that's absolutely clear to all of you, Lordships, but it's not at all clear to me. First of all, ban is rather an ambiguous word because it could involve criminal responsibility or some other forms of banning. Uh, and then conversion. Conversion is a word with which I've been pretty familiar all my life. And uh, it was always regarded primarily as meaning that a person took more interest in religion at a particular stage in his life or her life than they had taken before. Uh, on the other hand, it also talks about, uh, also used in connection with moving from one religion to another. But it's also used in connection with moving, uh, say, changing a car from being uh, uh, dependent on petrol uh, to electricity. <laughs> so uh, the word is uh, somewhat uh, large in scope. And then when you come to therapy, I've always understood that therapy was something about, if possible, making you better. You went along and hoped that you would get some sort of therapy that would make you better when you came out than when you went in. So I find this very difficult. However, uh, it's not without precedent. Uh, I've uh, tried to understand this business over some months, uh, and uh, I've read a very uh, erudite legal report about it. I think it's called the Cooper Report, which indicates uh, the nature of the problem. But I have studied that extremely carefully, and I'm, I think it's talking about a type of banning by a criminal a jurisdiction, by making something or other a crime. But the question is, what is it that is to be made a crime? And um, this uh, report, very learned, uh, very experienced people uh, have set out a whole lot of illustrations and the passing from the one side to the other, from innocence to guilt, is quite difficult to make out from this uh, great learning. Uh, and indeed, I think I read that the definition is so difficult that it should be made a bit wider than at first sight might appear in order to catch what may not be quite a, a crime under this idea. Now, it strikes me that if you're starting to uh, alter the criminal law, the last thing you want to do is to incorporate in uh, crimes th things for which nobody regards a criminal responsibility as arising. Uh, and to make it wider so as to catch, just in case, you know, we can't catch all that's in this definition, is surely a, a rather terrible is a scourge on the idea of a proper criminal situation. Uh, so that this is a mighty difficult uh, subject which is covered by these three uh, small words, as it were. Uh, and in recent times, the whole scope of this problem has been uh, brought into uh, relief by people asking it does it apply to gender, to change of gender? Well, I don't know the answer to that question because it's uh, not me that's putting this forward. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's, um, it's, quite a, it's quite a question, really. Uh, and uh, there are other questions about it, too. There was a big consultation, and I uh, took quite a lot of time to set out what uh, I thought about it. Uh, I don't know that we've heard yet exactly what's been uh, decided as a result, but it's certainly a very tricky problem that these three words are supposed to expose. There are many other problems in this bill apart from that, uh, and I would love to have time to uh, get involved in them, because the idea of moving the responsibility from the court to somebody else uh, is uh, always somewhat difficult. Uh, I agree that sometimes 
uh, the courts may have got power to impose responsibility for expenditure on the taxpayer. But, of course, as Lord Judge points out so clearly, if that's thought to be wrong, the, court, the, the legislature can put it correct very quickly. And so they've got a very powerful correction mechanism for any such a variation. I've put in a fairly detailed answer to the consultation on the uh, uh, Human Rights Act, and I must say on the whole, I don't think it's uh, moving very much. It's rather less uh, in scope than you might think. However, my scope is finished, so uh, I thank your Lordships for listening. <laughs>